So why isn't Duke Nukem forever ready after 12 years? Let's ask George Broussard. What the f*** is taking so long? There's been a lot of mistakes and a lot of, a lot of lessons we had to learn. <laughs> Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. What? Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. So there you have it. Duke Nukem Forever isn't ready because George and his employees were playing World of Warcraft on the job. This is what you do if your credibility is below zero. Say how much of an awful person you really are, knowing that nobody will believe you. The development of Duke Nukem Forever started in 1997 with the Quake 2 engine. In mid-1998, all the previous work was thrown away and development restarted with the Unreal Engine. Work on Duke Nukem Forever restarted from scratch two more times, one in 2003 and another one in 2006, that's when most employees left 3D Realms. What was shown in the 2007 teaser, were the only things that were done at the time for the current version of Duke Nukem Forever, the fourth attempt to develop the game. Had George stayed on schedule, Duke Nukem Forever would have been released in 1998, 3D Realms would have made loads of money and now they would be working on Duke Nukem 7. Instead, the whole Duke Nukem Forever development team has been fired. Tens of people are now without a job, not because of the economic crisis, but because Most of all there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Most of all there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Most of all there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. On May 20th, 2003, Jeffrey Lappin, then CEO of Take Two, told reporters that the game would not be out by the end of 2003. In response, George Broussard commented on Shack News, saying, Take Two needs to shut the fuck up in my opinion. No, Take Two is suing 3D Realms. No, the only way Duke Nukem Forever will be released, is if the judge orders Take Two to take its development into their hands and release it in 2009, and orders George Broussard to find a job in the only place he belongs. Not at the head of a video game company, but behind the counter of a McDonald's. Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Most of all, there's been a lot of World of Warcraft. Let it go, my perfection! And the end would be a great game. But all your hype was just deception, man! Now I see that you're full of shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Games take too long, games take too long, games take too long, like bitch creep. Games take too long, games take too long, games take too long, like beach creep.